I'm back and this is the first in the series of uh, the building of a new guitar basically for the start of 2021 sounds like a long time from when I was born but <laughs> there you go uh, first thing we're going to do uh, today is we're going to take this fine example of a body I don't know how well you can see it from there but it's got this brilliant figurine on it and what we're going to do is we're going to seal it and then we're going to dye it and we're going to dye it a, a fabulous colour yeah I'll show you the green of course it has to be watered down and all the rest of it but it, here we are stunning stains say that fast and this is from uh, from crimson no it's not crimson it's from crimson uh, I've got a load of these and we can do some mixing and stuff like that more about that later now the thing is, you take a body like this, this one's a bit out of the ordinary because it's actually a maple top, but it's also a maple back. So it's a maple on maple, yeah, and it's sort of cut away and it's, it, it's all good. <laughs> and one of the things I want to do is to uh, just run some, ooh, some sealer around the body just to make sure that uh, you know the inks aren't going to soak in any further at the edges for it well at the back end here for example the end grain uh, than they would up the top yeah you want it to be uniform if you can now listen I've never stained a guitar in my life if I can do it so can you so don't be too afraid if I get it wrong remember this in the worst situation got plenty of sandpaper so I can always get back to something uh, more what's going on in my head than how it might turn out who knows might be awesome well better be I shall kick myself so on a lot of guitar bodies let's get back to the idea on a lot of guitar bodies they might be older or ash at the back or they might be older or ash all over but some ones uh, require the sealing more than others and I'm told from what I've seen that uh, maple doesn't really need that much sealing off well I've got some sealer here and it's supposed to be for a neck well I'm not really that worried about that I'm only going to give it a, a bit of a light coat where it matters uh, all over of course but not a heavy coat then a quick rub down very quick rub down <laughs> and then we can move on to the to the dies so I'm gonna go and uh, do that now a little bit in, unorthodox how I do things I've never done one of these before and I don't really don't care how anybody else does it so if I'm wrong oh, it's okay you can tell me I'm wrong but well let's wait until we see the result that's the thing that matters the proof of the pudding is in the eating not in the baking so hold on let me get a bit closer and I'll uh, show you what we're going to do or what we are doing okay then what have we got well I've got the body that's an essential like I said it's maple on the top and it's maple round the back well, looking at that end grain I think we ought to put a little bit of sealer on that just to be sure I've got gloves you need that I've got some sealer and I went and bought and I've got some uh, some rags and when we've done that of course you're going to let it dry a little bit and then you can sand it off or sand it flat let's rephrase it to that then we can get down uh, to the actual uh, dye yeah so this little section here is all about uh, sealing grain nothing more nothing less and you can see I've got all the stuff down because the wife will rip me neck off <laughs> Anyway, let's not worry about her for now. She's not here. She's, she's elsewhere. And uh, I'm going to get down to this.
used a little cloth to wipe it on and rub the excess off and uh, you need to let that dry probably for half an hour or so yeah and then you can carry on further it's all just sort of sitting there drying off and the next thing we'll be doing is rubbing it back a little bit you can see the colors beginning to come in it a little bit yeah but it's not staying that color it's going to stay well it's going to be green of types uh, we shall see we shall see how we go what i've got to do is let this dry now and then uh, sand it back in about half an hour and then make sure that everywhere is spotless once again because this stuff it's a bit it's a bit chalky it sort of sinks into the pores and things and uh, that's great for that but it's not great to get into the dye so if you want it to be properly dry I would say half an hour but there you go I'm like that maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm right but that's what we're gonna do okay well here we are this is ready for the, uh, the sanding now and all I do is I take a piece of waterproof abrasive 320 aluminium oxide that's the one I use I rub it together a little bit and then I lightly go over it just to remove the, the sort of surface uh, sealant well I'm gonna go and do that now and uh, I'll see you in a minute Okay, well I'm back. This has been uh, sort of flatted down to get rid of the sort of surface uh, sealer. It's been drying for about, uh, oh, about an hour now. I did use a bit of heat on it as well just to, you know, help it along. <laughs> well the next thing brings into play dyes. Now there are lots of dyes. This one's a water-based one which is fine for putting on the top of what we've just put on I'm quite sure because it says so and uh, you can mix this in different levels now I bought a green you, you could use all the colors to arrive at a green if you haven't got a green or if you use you want some other color well how do you do that well it's all easy till you have a go <laughs> that's why I bought the green but I can change that green color and I can make it stronger or weaker depending on how many drips I put in the water that I'm going to use because it's water based so, well, let's figure out, uh, you know, how do you know what colour you want and how to mix it? Well, I went on the internet and I did a bit of a scan. You can see it there. Well, hopefully you can see it there. And this is like a, a, a mixing guide for colours. And they're never going to be exactly the same as on here, but they're going to be similar. And if I wanted to make, uh, for example, that green there is a nice green, sort of green I'd want. But you'll get to it, don't worry. And I could make that green with one blue and one yellow makes that green there. So if I put 10 drips of blue and 10 drips of yellow, I'll end up with that colour. That's clever. But you can make it uh, sort of less uh, pronounced if you put less drips in the water you're going to use. And that's precisely what I'm going to be doing. I've got three pots they're just off camera over there and the first pot's just going to be plain water the second pot is going to be a, a sort of light green or a, yeah whitish green and the third pot is going to be the heaviest stuff around the back of this guitar so my plan i might as well tell you <laughs> my plan is that this will fade it will have a sort of tint all over it, but a light tint that fades dark around the edges. And of course around the sides and around the back it will be darker. Yeah, and that, that's always been the plan. Uh, and wait until you get to see the, uh, the neck, which is the next video, not this one. 
Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get on with this. Uh, I'm going to show you how I mix the, uh, the inks. And then I'll come back and uh, apply them. And if I cock it up, well, I've got plenty of sandpaper. <laughs> now then, there is a lot of things you should do with this. Uh, for example, I should have some sample wood. Well, I haven't got any. <laughs> That's a bit of a body blow. I've been out everywhere looking for the wood, but it isn't there, so I can't really test it. Well, that's okay. So I've got these three uh, pots. I'm going to take that one as the end one. That will be clear. Just plain water. Well, it's sort of water that's been boiled. Let's put it that way around. And this one will be the intermediate one. And this one will be the, the thicker one. And I guess, what's it say here? It says, shake well before you. Fancy that. It may not be used neat. It may, may be used neat or diluted. Well, work best on a light coloured wood. We recommend the wood to be sanded to ensure a quality finish. Apply stain with a clean cloth and remove excess with a damp cloth. Now, always remember, you're going to need your gloves. I'll be getting to those presently, but uh, yeah, it's had a good shake. And don't forget to steal the wife's silver so you can stir it up. You can use what you like, but uh, I thought I'd involve her. <laughs> yeah, so we've got this, this dye. Oh my god, this is no drip job, is it? This is pour and hope. Well, that's just tip it in mode, that is. That's not uh, too good. Just put that back for a second. Okay, well, as you can see, that's a, that's a pretty light one. Silver shows it up well. But I, I want something a bit darker, so we'll uh, make a darker one. Give it a stir. Yeah, you can see that that consistency is much thicker. Let's try one out. This is where the piece of wood comes in, boys, that I don't have. But don't worry, it doesn't scare me <laughs> much. Okay, well, as you might see, it's a bit nearer where I want it. <laughs> yeah, it sort of fades green to light, and of course you've got a pick guard here, so don't worry about that. Sort of fades a bit. Yeah, I want to get it so that you've got that wood coming through, not just green, you know. And the way to do that is with the water on the cloth. Just plain old water. And it sort of thins things out a bit. As you can see. It makes it all nice. It's a bit better, it's a bit uh, a bit dark. Not that it might matter in there really. Now around the back, 
uh, we've got just a plain old colour. It's all sort of soaking in at the moment, so uh, can't really see much more about that. But you do get, you can see you get these lighter and darker patches and on the, the end of the wood, even though it's been sealed, you, you still get those uh, bits and pieces, I'll call them. I need it to stand out a little bit around there. Okay, well we'll wait for that to dry and then I'll clean up. Okay, well I've tied it up a bit and uh, yeah, the net result isn't bad. Imagine when you've got a plate on. I tell you what, let me go get a plate. Now of course that's totally the wrong colour, but you can imagine it in that green. Uh, the green, I had the idea of uh, green on green, so to speak. And you get this sort of burst around the edge. It's different, isn't it? And that's what I wanted, a guitar that's different. What matters is you did it yourself, didn't you? As I have. And uh, I think that's the main thing uh, as we proceed further forward with this and we put the, uh, the uh, finishes on and then we start to build it all up. It's going to look pretty good. And I have an idea for the neck. Uh, and I wanted the neck originally to be like a, a vintage colour. And I've got some colouring for that. But I'm not so sure. I might just actually take the neck and uh, do something else. You know, greenish on the back with a sort of fade. Uh, that would look nice because uh, with this uh, sort of bird's eye stuff, it stands out when you spray it, doesn't it? So that's it for this uh, body for now. I'm going to leave this to uh, dry for a few days and then uh, I'll go further forward with it. Uh, as necessary. The next thing coming up in the next video will be, uh, it'll actually be the neck, yeah, uh, and that will be dyed accordingly. I don't know exactly what colours, but it's got to be something that matches the green, so it might end up being green, who knows. <laughs> well, I do hope that uh, anybody who's been watching this, uh, you know, gets a bit of, uh, I don't know, uh, incentive to want to have a go, because that's what it's all about. You know the want to do this stuff I've never done one of these before like this but probably neither of you you can go and watch the experts of course and uh, <laughs> yeah I have watched some of them but as you can see in this video I didn't particularly apply really that much of what they said I put a bit of filler around it and that seems to have sort of worked sort of <laughs> I'm not really worried either way. It looks good enough to me, and that's all that matters. It's my guitar, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so you should be having a go at it, and uh, you could be amazed at how it comes out for you. I mean, this is not finished. It's drying up nicely, but uh, let me take that off. You can imagine it when it's all complete. Yeah, it's got the sort of fade on it and all the rest, and... Uh, I mean, how hard is it to do? <laughs> okay, so don't forget to visit www.tonymckenzie.com. It's down there in the text. And I'll put some information down there about where I had the bits from and the, uh, the dyes and that sort of stuff. That should be useful. As I said, this is video one in the series. The next one's going to be the neck uh, where it gets dyed. This was just for show, anybody who's come in late. But the one that does come will be uh, a nice deeper green uh, of that style, and that's the thing. It should look pretty cool. So until next time, hope you like this one. Get out of here.